Uh, uh, we is are Chapel now. the Vicious? Yep, Chapel the Vicious. Oh, okay. Oh, shit. Wait a minute. How much was this? Oh, talk. <laughs> you didn't post a link. No, no, we just started. You oh, didn't my post a link. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you already had the link. Hang on, I'll I'll just put in self promo so people know. Okay. Okay. Trying to help you out here, man. Then I can steal it and post it other places. Yeah, yeah. I'm posting it somewhere. Both of you should. Both of you should. I'm totally I'm gonna do it right now. That's what I'm doing. I know. I'm just waiting for Chapel to get his stuff together. All right, cool. <laughs> Yay. Everybody go do your promos. All right. Boom posted. Thank you. Uh, Welcome, everyone, to Chaos in the Valley of Elements. This is the main group, and, oh, this is episode 30, let me check. This is it's up there. It's it's up there. It's uh which of my YouTubes. There we go. Alright, let me put my say that I'm working on my friend's channel. This is episode 37. Wow. 37. We are... I don't even know <laughs> when I joined in. Holy have, you guys, cow. have you guys been here like a year already? I haven't. I, I no. think I have. No, not yet. No, no. Uh, so... The new members joined in right around nine to ten months ago so they've been here almost a year now Wait, it's been that long yeah yeah i suppose oh, wow. yeah and then we took some we took some time off um partially because i needed it but partially i think we also took some time off for like holidays, holidays. And, yeah mm -hmm. All right, so let's see here. Minimize that. Welcome, everyone. Okay, so where we last off, you guys have just returned to your apartment inside of the fortress um spica what have you been doing yep. what uh what... cycling around panicked <laughs> manic panicked i guess <laughs> okay You've been kind of freaking out over over something that happened that the that no one else was aware of. Uh oh. Uh. -oh. Uh <laughs> that sounds like problems. Is that is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> See what? Go ahead and roll me a D one hundred. I wouldn't be surprised if he's if my character's still fucking. Uh, yeah, I'm going through it. We weren't here last time. Remember to add your bonus. All right, plus one. So that's okay. So you managed to calm yourself down. You're okay. 
Nothing's been said to you for about four hours now. You're feeling <clears throat> safer. <sighs> I were away from those. About this time, <sighs> you hear. Um, you hear Eamon and Daniela calling for you in the main room. Hello? Eamon? Daniela? I'm sorry. Spike, huh? Yeah? You doing all right, bud? I'm doing a lot better. Good. Good. You would... You were great. You know, all things considered, could have gone a lot worse. To be fair, I just ran. Yeah, yeah, you did. You know, it, it, honestly, that was a lot of running. I'm not entirely happy about that. Uh, actually, still pretty tired. I do apologize for that. It's okay. It's okay. You know, we've got our stuff. We got we've got some things. Uh, we came out of the stronger, uh, and we're we're doing well, right? We don't have to deal with him or any of that again for the foreseeable future. Uh, you gotta lie to me. Who did? Who's a better lie? Me? I'm not lying. What business do we have with with Lord Kane? Anymore. Or Roy. I guess you still have your rock? Yeah, yes, you still I still have, have your... the rock in my pocket. You'll take it out and look at it, okay? It'll give you comfort. Okay. Okay. You're going to be okay, buddy. I hope so. You will. Just out there. <sighs> Well, you're going to be just fine. And think about this. You faced him again, survived, and made it out no worse for wear. You've all that's already an accomplishment. But and by the way, this is just between me, Daniela and uh Amen, right? Mm hmm. Yep. Okay, so then. Obviously... Well, I'm the shadow. Wait, you're the shadow? <laughs> yeah, my shadow's here too, but he, he's, he's pretty. He's, he hasn't talked much at all, really. <laughs> Anyways. What did I add? We have to return with a fucking blood ruby. Oh. I mean. That's nothing. Okay, we have all this treasure now. We need to figure out what we have so wait, we wait. can divvy it out to everybody. Wait. <sighs> For the blood ruby uh, above character, did all three of us talked about this? We didn't have a choice. You kind of like just uh, No, no. I mean like it. after we got the note. No. So just, and we kind of discussed it as a means of just not Really telling Quadrant or Gleam. Yes. This is just between <laughs> yeah. the three of us. Yeah, so Quadrant and Gleam, close your ears. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> Remember, Spiker, you're fine. You're stronger. Next time we we have to deal with him, you don't have to. I promise you that. I'd rather him dead than deal with him. You know, that's kind of the end goal, but we'll see what happens. I don't think you get it. That thing was. See the army he had. There was no way we were taking him. No, not there. No. That but someday we yes. will probably give him power. Probably, yeah, and we'll continue to gain our own power. And when we have our full team together, I think we could probably manage. Uh, we still have to be hush hush. Yes. About this time, you hear a 
click and a, as the door opens and an intoxicated Roxy with an elf <laughs> around her shoulder walks in. Oh my. <laughs> well, there Hello she there. is. <laughs> Hi, guys. How's you do? <laughs> How are you doing? How? Where have you been? As good as you. <laughs> I'm doing great. <laughs> okay. The elf kind of smiles and goes, not as great as I'm about to be. <laughs> um, excuse me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think I made me forget about my worries a little bit. <laughs> um, Amen looks over to Daniela. Should, should we be worried about this at all? Or is this like, fine? Um, not sure. Uh, it's, it's fine. Sure Everything's fine. Star Star fun. I'm all drunk, so. all right, let, let's go. Let's go. Let's let's go. Have you lay down for a minute, and uh, we'll, we'll we'll let you rest. I'm gonna go over and relieve my elven friend of Roxy. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Yeah. We just okay. hang it out. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's go in the room. <laughs> he he smiles at you and goes, oh. Uh, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, not you, but thank you. Oh, but while you're here, can you talk to uh, my friends here about this chest? We would really, really appreciate it. He, he kind of reaches down and forward, and he goes, this chest? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um, my God. I almost just sprayed my soda. Uh, no, that one and a point. <laughs> uh, it's, it's. Are you sure it's? Mm, mm, yeah. It's a box. <laughs> it is a box. Yeah. When Quadrant is gonna walk in? Yeah. <laughs> About this time, Listen, Quadrant it's, does it's walk in. It's a nice in. guess. <laughs> Um, and just just for some context, Quadrant, you were feeling really ill in the morning. You're not sure what happened. It seems like something you had imbibed was very um, the antithesis of what Quadrant is. And he has been kind of vomiting his, his brains out for most of the morning. He's feeling better. But he's not necessarily looking better. Not what I thought I'd walk into right off the bat today, but Oh Quadrant. Well, I mean I'm looking at I'm looking at Elvin ass. What what would you expect to be with it up to? Quadrant, hey buddy, how you doing? Okay, let's go <laughs> in the room now. <laughs> I'm, I'm taking I want my friend. I want my friend okay. to call. <laughs> No, no, no. He stays out here. <laughs> yeah. you're, you're okay. Let's go. And oh, you are. Shh, okay. Me? Yes, you. Uh, you just see Gleam with a cow in her face and just hiccuping? I'm Daxalan, and I was I was kind of going to have some fun with her. Um, if she was up for it, of course, you know. Unfortunately, I think that may not be the case anymore. Jeez. Oh. What do you mean? I'm fine. Just had a couple drinks. Okay, uh, Roxy, let's go. Oh, okay, okay, wait, wait. Roxy. Um, this is Roxy no, person. Uh, 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 Gleam. 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 You've already won the race. Now you're showboating. Quick way to sober. <laughs> All right. That's um, what I do. I... Just, just when she gets to feeling better, just tell her she can come visit me anytime she wants to. 
You guys call me. You just day. here in the room before the door shuts. And yeah. and what, he, what was your name then? Good, good Elvin, sir. Damoclex. Damocles? No, not Damocles. That'd be different and very dangerous. <laughs> Democulus? Democulus. Demada Huna? My, my name's Daxolan. Daxolan. Yeah. Daxolan. He looks Everything very upset that you guys fucked his name up is. six times. <laughs> he actually, this is just. <clears throat> Us accidentally no. just pulling him for his name. Do not worry. I'm sure Gleam will come and find you when our group's business is concluded and they are a little more of a stronger mind. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go. Also, I'm gonna go I sleep hope this you off. are not a thin skinned individual. No. Good. And all you he, hear is three shanties coming out of Gleam's room, just like, what can we do with a drunken sailor? What and just like, oh, oh my god. A sea of giggles in between the words. You're just making me more exhausted than I already am. Come on, let's go. So early in the morning. Me of the Neverwinter docks. Yeah. So <laughs> so Daxalan walks out of the apartment and he was like, damn it. And you kind of hear him like drunkenly stumble down the hallway. <laughs> so, you all have been busy without me. Max, yes. Uh, yes. Oh, well, Quadrant, glad to see you vertical and moving. Much better. I'm still quite pale, but at least you're standing now. How I've are you feeling? I've had worse experiences, but that was rather unpleasant. That's fair. Uh, well, good news. As far as poisonings go. Yes. Just saying. Oh, could have been worse. Could have been a lot worse. So, question. I you can do some, uh, like, magic type stuff. Right? Do you want something done fast? Something told no? Or something exploded? Uh, I would like you to tell us what the hell all this is. And then Eamon gestures to the large chest full of magical shit. I think you're looking for a wizard. Yeah, but I don't think we have one of those. Yes. Um, and I think you're, you're the closest one we've got. Uh I could tell you if some of these have any major historical significance. If oh. there's history behind them or something like that. Uh, but in matters of the arcane, I'm at a loss. Also, how did you get a chest full of treasure? Um, you didn't have so you to know. kill Cain, did you? Oh, no, no, no. I traded my sword for it. You got all of this. For one sword. Correct. <clears throat> right. I mean, it was a great fucking sword, so I'm a little sad about that. But Yes, but no. if you wanted it that badly, it's for a reason. Right. And it was either going to trade or, you know, he kills us and takes it. And I'd rather get a bunch of shit for it instead. Oh, he pulled the whole, like, I could just kill you and take it anyways, but I'd rather be magnanimous. <laughs> yeah, and since it was just, you know, Daniela, myself, and Spica, who very, very bravely, I might add... Uh, faced Lord Kane. How did you um, trick into that? How did we trick? No, he didn't trick him. He just came with us. He was pretty good up until like the very last minute. <clears throat> Quadrant just like pulls you aside, really, and like very, very lightly whispers to you, like, "Did you do the shiny rock trick?" Yeah, Danielle did the shiny rock trick. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> um, but um. So there, there's a bunch of stuff, and he like kind of like looks through the chest. Like, so we've got like some healing potions. There's like 300 pieces of gold, which I don't know where we can spend it, but we've got some. There's this ring, which seems magical. No idea what it does. Uh, a full set of this shiny ass plate armor. Uh, uh, this big, three. what? 
I said, that's probably for you. That could be. Or, or Spiker. He kind of needs some more defenses. Uh, there's this this big-ass sword. You have two-hander. There's this fancy metal thing, like like a crown or a, 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 a helmet. What do you call this on my head? We call it a crown. I took the curved greatsword. Um, yeah, you took, like wait, you took the greatsword, the flambers? Oh, no, not that. I already have them from before. <laughs> what okay. would little noodle arms here do with a flambers? I don't know. There's also a long sword with uh, some kind of god's hammer on it. Um, really? And then there's this mace. It's got like a funny, you see this? has got like the, the play, the laughing mask on it. And then there's this book that seems to be talking about gods and icons and stuff. It seems magical. I, I feel... I feel like that book might be important into understanding the rest of the items. I'm not great at reading. Uh, and actually, to be to perfectly honest, I haven't even opened the book. I'll peruse it then. My parents made sure I got the best education that they could afford. That's good. It is when you're supposed to take over the family business. Wait, what is the family business? Don't worry about it. And why are you just like a sneaky bastard? What do you mean? Is the family's business like being sneaky? Aspects of it require a certain amount of stealth, yes. Hmm. He's but... still not a rogue! <laughs> you just hear a giant bunch of giggling from These the blame. Days... The these days there's more business and diplomacy than subterfuge and roguish antics mm. Mm. it's rather boring but important to the stability of the region interesting yes if we ever go to neverwinter it'll be quite a hoot Hmm. Now then, um, this book. Oh yeah, it's all yours. You, know, you said there's a lot of symbols and stuff in it, or oh, just on the t on like the cover. I didn't really get into it, but it, it's got. It looks like it's got some religiousy things on it. Yes, yeah, you know me. Funny. I'm all about it gods. Seem to have religiousy things to them. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if these are the spoils of war from other people trying to kill Cain. Most mm. notably, paladins. These, all of this might be paladin equipment. It might be. In which case, it could be one giant holy booby trap. Mm. So Let's investigate. Yeah, you're a sneaky guy. Can you, like, check on it, see if it's religiously booby trapped? What do you mean, sneaky? No, this is all about learning and experience. Oh. I'll have a look. Yeah, give me just a second. I'm just looking for the details. Uh, okay. Because I know I wrote them down, but I don't I'm know I'm just surprised that Kane didn't kill you all. I know, right? Well, but we are very, very persuasive. There's that, but also I feel like he has other purposes for our group. And killing it us would have made things more annoying for him not not even difficult he strikes me as the kind of evil genius that has many a plan okay so I can't find where I have this alright so you want to look over the book I just dropped that in the chat. That's what I had in the notes for what we got out of the chest. But that's as far as I got. Well, unfortunately, there wasn't a sword of my use there, which means we'll still have to get it repaired at Hellfire Watch. Right. And one of these weapons I desperately need. I, I mean, I typically 
run with a shield, so the long sword seems to make the most sense, but also could be helpful for Spiker. Um, I mean, half of my half of my technique is utilizing shields. Okay, so you pick up the book. Um, what is your alignment? Mine? Ooh. Yes, yours. Uh, good question. It's never really come up. Um, where the hell is it? Uh, on your character sheet, if you go to core, it'll be at the top where you have your class level. It should say alignment right next to experience points. Ah, here we go. Um, <laughs> lawful neutral. Okay. Okay, so... Ew. You're able to hold the tome and you're able to read the words, but holding it hurts you. For every six seconds that you hold the tome, you're taking 1d6 radiant damage. Oh my god. Um, Better six be seconds bad. I'm holding it, right? Yeah. If I put it on a table, does it close shut by itself? No. Well, after my initial burning, I'm going to put it onto the table, open, and simply use a dagger as a page turner. Okay. So. I'll take that. Bless you. These picks. Okay. <clears throat> bless you. Uh, do I roll Thank that you. or do you roll that? I'll roll that. Okay. Somebody's unhappy about me holding this, but I heard... <laughs> <clears throat> Oof. Yeah. I've heard of this before. This You're not sure which lawful good god that this belongs to. But really? yeah. It liter this wh who, whichever god this belongs to, they do not allow for any any being outside of their strictly identical alignments to touch this tome. Oh, there's too many gods in that category. A tome. Oh shit. But yes, this is a paladin's tome. Oh, I can't no. use that book. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Nobody here is going to be able to touch this unless they're in the same wheelhouse. I mean, I think I'm a fairly good person, and Eamon's going to try and pick it up. What is your alignment? Uh, neutral good. Blame can't. She's chaotic neutral. I mean, how much damage I take? Oh, God. Maybe the right alignment. <laughs> Oh, I'm, 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 I'm chaotic damage. good, so there's no way. Three radiant damage. <gasps> oh. Danielle, oh. you're a woman of the cloth. Perhaps you can... I can what? What are you guys doing out here? You're throwing around shit? Sounds so loud. We're trying not, to get Gleam to sleep? We're not throwing book. anything around. We're as, simply investigating the chest. As you leave Gleam's room, you notice that Quadrant's hand is... B almost burnt black. The and dear to him. <laughs> and Amon and... is like shaking his hand, and there's like smoke coming off of it. What are you guys doing out here? Are you playing oh. a fire game again? No, it's more of a. You trying to put uh, your hand in the fire again? You ever well... play that game Hot Potato? It's kind of like that, but with uh, this holy text that burns you. Here, catch. And I toss it to Daniela. 
Uh, so I catch it. <laughs> you know, I was told once by someone nothing ever bad happened from opening a book. I think they were wrong. Daniela, oh, okay. what is your alignment? Chaotic good. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Twins! <laughs> and. <laughs> Is there a chance we could re-roll the... <laughs> what do I have to roll? That oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I fucking knew it. <laughs> 2d6. Bam. Yeah, so Ow. your hands are immediately like engulfed in radiant energy. What the... And I throw it on the ground. Holy hell is this? <laughs> Crazy, right? <laughs> That was, that was a book that was in the chest we got. That was a significantly more powerful than reaction than the two of us. Yeah, are you like none of us can use that poem? Mm, can I? Wait. Can I see what kind of? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Daniela, I I'm think not touching a it. A way. There has to be a way to reroll. Let's <laughs> 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 fucking try. All right. Well, back to Plan B. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put this on the table and turn the pages without touching the book. Okay. Want to burn out your eyes? I don't think that should be a problem. Okay. Well, here, let me heal your wounds. I guess. Do oh I no, I'm fine. Don't, don't okay, worry you're about fine. Me. Okay. <laughs> I think that's Wait, my character. My character's over here just like you were going to pick the book up and put it back on oh. the table. That's I'll pick good. it up. I'll pick it up. Yeah. And put it in the table. Oh god. Okay. Never mind. Then. I'm not touching that thing. Okay. Oh, look at me. So, um, whose book is it? It's all of us. This whole chest is all of us. We just <clears> haven't <throat> we haven't decided who gets what yet. All right, let me let me read it. Whose book is it? DM. I'm just gonna use telekinetic movement <laughs> on that thing. Come oh, on. DM. <laughs> yes. I gotta. We're gonna, we're gonna move that I gotta like really go back to my normal voice or make quadrants just like that much more important. <clears throat> yes. Yeah. <laughs> So I just try to freaking move the book through teleconnect movement. Oh, oh, that's a good I... idea. Yeah, yeah, do that. No, that's All not right. a good idea. That's Why? Why would it be a bad idea? What could go wrong? Yeah, oh, what I could go know. wrong? Damage All right. Blasts his brain. I use one more side. What? That's fine. This is Spica. All right. Ouch. I'm lifting the book. <laughs> I'll just give him another stone. Yeah, the book's already on the table. You don't have to move it. <laughs> But he could turn the pages. I've already got that handled. What do you touch? I got, I got, I got lifting power. What do you got? I hope nobody walks in from like the outside. It's like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> well, that's, at this point, it may as well just look like a fucking cult thing. Well, imagine <laughs> I'm Drakaris coming they back. Get, in. They get enough weird people from the adventure camp. <laughs> they're they're okay. <laughs> All right. Let's the see cover. if I can open the fucking book. The cover, what 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 symbol is on it? The symbol of death, obviously. Where's <laughs> it starts? Oh uh, can I investigate while I have this thing, <laughs> this thing in the fucking air? Okay, that's my personality trait coming out. <laughs> so you know. I'm gonna do investigation. You can roll an investigation or you can roll a um You can roll religion or investigation. I want to roll religion. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right. I want to roll. Let's see that. how that goes. <laughs> okay. Should Eric should absolutely roll religion. Okay. Now the question is: is okay. The question is: Do you want to reveal the cover? Do I? Oh, the Quadrant was the one who said what's on the cover. Do you want to reveal the cover or open it or close it? Uh, sure, I'm let's the one the with cover. the power, so she's going to have to ask that. <laughs> okay. ask close yeah. the book! Okay, who's closing the book? I'm technically the one with the powers here, so I guess I'll just do it manually with the power. Okay. What is your alignment? 
My alignment is chaotic. Because I'm using telekinetic movement, I hope that thing doesn't fucking hurt. Fight okay. me. Okay. It's chaotic what? Chaotic good. Okay. I'm not going to be standing next to him. <laughs> In case lightning strikes. Alright. You take six ah. psychic damage. <laughs> what the hell is this book? The book closes. Throw it out the window! And you see now that the that the spine of the book has a chain like it's supposed to go around someone's waist. On the cover of the book is a massive warhammer set with a pair of scales on top of them. Or on top of it. Oh. That's definitely a whole lot more. That gives us a lot more details of what the hell that kind of book is. At the same time, the fact that it retaliates against us for trying to open it hurts. And that was this. Well, you know, uh, maybe we just try to sell this thing. <laughs> okay. Is there anyone who can actually probably try to use this thing? No. You 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 suggest that Daniela. You recognize this symbol. Mm-hmm. This is the symbol of Tear. Oh yay! The blind god of justice. Also, the one-handed god of war. Okay. So this is... I know the symbol. Of... This mm. is uh this is tear symbol. It's the symbol of tear? Yes. Oh boy. Oh yeah. Well <clears throat> that is the same symbol on any of the gear. Um, I don't know. Look at look at the stuff. I don't think that symbol is. There are a few other symbols. There's a couple of other symbols. Not every symbol is is the symbol of tear, but tear symbol is on a couple of the pieces. Um, Daniela, from oh, your re- from your religion check, <laughs> what you what you gleam. <laughs> what you gleam um, <laughs> is that he's sleeping. Yeah. Don't wake her up. Is that <laughs> this tome is very special, and anyone who is not exactly lawful good will take radiant damage. Anyone who has a chaotic alignment is going to take double. Uh, radiant damage and anyone who is of evil alignment is going to take double radiant damage so a chaotic evil character would take quadruple radiant damage oh so are we okay so uh guys we can't handle this book uh we have to be lawfully good correct yes yes uh in order to touch it read it if not, we're going to take damage never, from it. Never said but anything about reading it. You, you did say you were going to read it. We can't touch it. It'll it'll take. We'll take damage. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, well, how I use my magic. It, so it, I'm wondering it, 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 why <clears throat> Kane had this unless he's trying to get rid of it. So he just gave it to us. Honestly, I'm pretty sure. I, previous owner. Yes, it's. Probably true, but now my concern that is, is uh, are all of these magical items similar? Essentially, we traded a powerful, I traded, we traded a powerful sword for equipment that we cannot use. Just because I hope not. Else <laughs> oh, are we assuming we take it back to camp and give it to our good right, we trade friend we, and we'll trade, trade it, it for something? Yeah. 
Right. That's the they, best oh, yeah. We could probably trade it for something now, of a good equal value. The other items that have tier symbol on them, we should probably separate from the rest, see if they're still have the same radiant energy as this book. All right. Well, you know what? Because I already hurt myself doing it. If we're going to try things like that, I guess I'm just going to pick up this sword. Uh, description that you sent, Chapel, the long sword with the symbol of Moradin's hammer in Ilmater's fist engraved on the pommel. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to pick it up. Okay. And see if it murders me. It does not do anything to you. It does, however, light up with a bright yellow flame. Oh, shit. Fancy. That's interesting. Does it hurt? Nope. Well, this one doesn't hurt. The um, flame the flame is along the blade. Okay. Uh to touch it. <laughs> hey Spiker, touch this. Yeah. All right. It, touch. Oh. I imagine it's like when someone gets like, goes out to a restaurant and the wait the waiter's like, Careful, the plate's really hot, and you're like, I'm gonna touch it, and you touch the plate. Like I assume it's like that kind of thing. <laughs> when Spica tries to touch it. I am trying to touch the blade. <laughs> Take Holy God. Take radiant damage. You guys watch as Spica reaches out, and his body almost fades for a moment, and then there's a bright explosion. His body collapses into the wall, knocking over a bookshelf after a loud Boom! Several books fall off the bookshelf, and a piece of furniture has been shattered. Uh, oh, Christ. What? Amy, in I wish I had my camera on because Amy is the same <laughs> thing I am. Just like mouth agape, looking at the sword, and back to Spica. <laughs> like, wants to be like, are you okay? But can't think of the words because that was. Insane. He's like, uh, 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 just, just holds a sword that he's just dumbstruck. That was insane. But a smile just kind of perks at the corner of his mouth. Oh, 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 oh. oh. How you doing, bud? I am so oh, no, okay. sorry. No, you're not. Get away from him. Here, Me or him? help you up. You. I'm not touching him. Not with a sword, anyway. Oh, I can help him up. <laughs> Quadrin, can you help me get him up? I'm a little tired. Oh, sure. You, you could do it. You, you That's right. Also, right. We have, you also two have a pulled muscle. Yeah. You also have a pulled muscle still. Yeah. From pulling oh, that tether to lift the chest. <laughs> Forgot about that. <laughs> Quadrant, a little help. Oh, wait, your hands are burnt. Okay. <sighs> well, let's get okay. help me. I'm really on the floor. I'm down. Books oh, all over uh, my ass and debris. <sighs> oh, it's, it'll be okay. I hope I didn't wake up Gleam, though. Gleam, that I... definitely did wake you up. I would be surprised if she's still asleep through that. I was gonna say, how drunk was I? <laughs> no, not only not only did that wake you up, it immediately sobered you because you get this instinctual feeling that one of your friends is, has been severely hurt. Oh, uh, uh, you just see it right What's going on? What's going on? Trips over own feet. You, the hell? you what's see going on out here? What you what you see is <laughs> is Spica is leaned up, almost like the wind's been knocked out of him against the wall and Eamon seems to be slowly approaching him with this sword of <laughs> yellow fire in his hand. What in the hell is going on? Spike oh exploded. great, y'all woke her up. <laughs> Spike, Spike exploded. Uh, how hungover <laughs> am I? <laughs> you just stand at the door, the sword's still down. Nope. It just pointed. No, it's swords down. I'm not pointing at anybody. It's it's down. 
No, nope, I mean your right. finger pointing at my character. <laughs> no, not doing that. Put the sword down. What in hell? My head hurts. I don't know what happened. You are running on sheer adrenaline right now. I'm gonna get between Spike and I'm like, put the sword down. I didn't Extinct. do anything. I you touched the blade. Extinguish that. We're in somebody else's castle. We ain't burning anything down. I, I don't away. know how. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, you, would, you would love to put the sword down, but you can't. What do you mean you can't put the sword down? Well, I, I, I mean what I said. I can't put it down. I don't know what how else to explain that. Uh, Not able to. So you look, sword. and I, try, I just put my hand out trying to let it go. It just, I, I can't. Not even That's like my hand won't even unclasp from it. Yeah. <laughs> Can I sheathe it? Does it have a sheath? You don't know. <laughs> you didn't bother to look. Shit. I look for a sheath. <laughs> Roll me an investigation check water... with disadvantage. Oh, if he's still swinging just... it around the room, we're all ducking. Yeah. Disadvantage. Oh my god. <gasps> I mean, it's a uh, nice sword, but that is not the kind of sword I want uh, aiming at me. 17. Yeah, you're able to find a, a scabbard. Thank God. I, I put it in a scabbard. Or attempt to. You can release it. Oh, God. Jesus. However, you as you put the scabbard down, and you start to explain yourself, like, I, I couldn't let it go, you notice that the scabbard is now attached to your hip. So I don't know what I, I'm gonna just play it off like that. Amen doesn't notice that he's like, I am so sorry, Spike. I, I didn't realize uh, that was gonna happen. Amen. I'm I'm trying to apologize, Danielle. I um, didn't. Um, I didn't do Amen. Um, um, what? I'm just gonna point. Look down. The bloody hell! What in the hell has been happening on my night out? Uh, so, uh, long story short, we went and met with Lord Kane uh, and Roy Ovel, uh traded the blood sword for a chest full of magical items. One of them causes us to burn radiant damage if we try to read the book, and the other one is apparently now glued to me in some type of magical manner. And it, I lifted out it, the the sword went on fire, and Spike was like, "Ooh, I kind of want to touch it." I said, "Okay, touch it," and then he exploded. Uh, and he then I right. then I couldn't drop it. I put it in a sheath. I dropped the sheath, and now it's on my hip. And I did not put that there on purpose. Don't touch anything else, Jesus Christ! And you just see her just pinch the bird of her nose, shaking her head. I mean, we still got a crown, a fancy ring, a whole suit of armor, and also this giant sword. Um, no one put on the ring. No one put on the crown. Might that be helpful. Be a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> Out of context. I mean, oh, Daniela. You I'm just see William's ears go back and say, What did you just say? Be a pretty, pretty princess. <laughs> you just see Gleam start walking right to her with murder in her eyes. Look at my hands up. They're burnt. <laughs> Don't hurt me. <laughs> Guys, I'm just saying. <laughs> did you see Quadrant? Uh, I'm going to heal Spike. I'm going to heal Spike. Gleam, you know magic stuff. Can you identify these objects so we don't kind of go into this blindly like we have been? I can give it my shot. What would you like me to roll? Uh, uh. Uh, you can roll Arcana, Religion, or if you have the spell, you may cast Identify. I do not have Identify. I got the same my as Arcana or Religion. Well, cross, I do something good. And... 17. Hey. Okay. What are you looking at? The book? The I book. can't touch it. Okay. The I forgot. Book. Did they open or close the book? The book's closed now. Book, the, the book is closed. Right. This is... Don't touch a, the bookie. <laughs> this is the... This is... Tears tome. It is a paladin's tome. Mm -hmm. And it is a book transcribed by his by Tears personal attendants. 
this book is like very on the high yeah. end of like holy relics that churches would go to crusades for. Oh. Oh. Okay. Would you say so, the equivalent to what it like, is? It's kind of the equivalence of the Holy Grail. Ha, ha, ha. Which which belongs <laughs> to tears. And a lot of people would go over war for this book. Oh. I'm going to... My characters might as well just be crawling towards where Gleam is and just be like, I was going to grab her leg. Don't touch the books. <laughs> well, I have no intention to. <laughs> that Gleam was... knows, knows her alignment or like where she stands. Like, I cannot touch the book. I know. That. Okay, well, uh, Gleam, can you take a look at this sword that's stuck to me now? <laughs> just just work your magic and figure out what the hell it is. <laughs> Do you want it in the sheath or out of the sheath? Keep it in the scabbard. In the scabbard? Caught you. I'll leave it there. I can't really take it off. I can see. <laughs> uh, would, well, before I ask what kind of role, would Gleam, before in the brief moment the sword was out and on fire, would she be able to identify possibly what it could be or like any traits? Um, She knows that it bestows radiant fire and that it's definitely a weapon of of like a celestial. Oh, do I want him to take it out to get a better look at it? I mean, I touched the blade. That's what caused my own pain. I'm still on the floor. You touched so, the blade. Nice going. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. So long as you don't touch the blade, you're fine. Well, at this point, it's not. Leaving aim inside, I don't think anybody else can touch it. In general. Out of curiosity, mm -hmm. Gleams, I said, well, let me try this. I'm going to attempt to take the sword out of the hill off Eamon's belt. Oh, shit. And probably regret the decision later. I let it. retaliates. Okay. Um... Eamon, are yes. you going to allow this? Yeah, I'll allow it. Okay. Yeah, see I'm not going to stop her. She's going to get uh, gay, give us information on potentially what the hell this thing is. Because I want to see if the sword will let anybody else other than Eamon pull it out of its scabbard or if it's strictly his. Take 20 oh, points shit. of radiant damage. Oh. You just hear the cat yowl and me jump back with my one hand probably blackened. Okay! Yep. I did not do it. Point, just... I think Eamon can't defend himself as much anymore. This is wild. right. So no one can touch the sword. Ow, mother! You just hear just cursing and dwarven just for just because. So did you learn anything about it? Like what it is? Yeah, this is just like Cain. My God, what are we gonna do? <sighs> Wait. At least he, the sword's not communicating with him. Wait. Not yet. <laughs> After that, after that comment, Eamon's just gonna sit and like put his hand on the on like the palm of the sword and think thoughts to the sword, <laughs> or try to. Oh no, no that's nothing hilarious. Happens. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, so, ow. Ring. Any right, other yeah. ideas? As I'm still clenching my hand. Well, there's well, this crown over here. Can you see what that I one does? I will <laughs> look now. at. I will look at the crown and the ring. I'm not touching it. I want to be a princess. You go ahead and see what happens. <laughs> no. Uh huh. I thought so. <laughs> Chapel, would you like me to roll in our arcana or religion check or just? Uh, uh, what it depends on which piece you're looking at. I'm going to first look at the uh, crown. The crown... Sorry. The crown is going to need... Re <clears throat> excuse me. Religion or arcana. Okay, so it's oh, the same. No. 
Oh dear lord. Well, it's the same thing. So, eh, cross cross myself. Damn. 12. Mm. Okay. Um this crown does not come from any of the human or dwarven gods. This comes mm. from an elven god. Uh you don't know which one though. But it is a nature god. Alright. So And if I take a gander <laughs> As you say, so we might want to ask around to see if anyone knows or can identify this crown. This is a elven made by an <laughs> elven god. It's of nature, but that's all I can get from. So maybe we can ask around and see if anyone has any more information or recognize. Hello, you have a cleric and you have a elf here. I have an elf. Ugh. I mean, not. And another elf. elf. Do any have you seen anything in textbooks or heard of anything about something like this? Well, I mean, I'm gonna roll. I'm gonna roll. Red for that crown. But does that, that? Yeah, would that ring a bell at all for me? Any kind of elven god of nature? <laughs> Probably not. Like but uh, I'll see if Chad will. There's, there's a handful of them. I don't see shit. There's, there's a handful of elven gods of nature. I'm not sure I would know which one. Not very, you know, versed in <clears throat> gods in general. You're elf. Elven. So? That doesn't mean we all know the same shit. All right. I tried. And I failed. I want to try. I okay. want to. <laughs> Spica, you're not sure. You you know that there's a handful. Uh. Oh wait, did you want did you want us to roll for this? I mean, um, unless you're just using your basic intel uh, uh basic knowledge of what your character knows. Yeah. I'm not proficient in religion, so I figured I'd just use what my character generally knows, which is there's gods out there that are of nature, that are elven. Yeah. That... You're... yeah. I am not proficient either. <laughs> like, right. I'm American, but I don't know what my thir what the 13th president was. Like, <laughs> come on. Jeez, oh. this is hilarious. Okay. Was it Andrew Jackson? Just I, don't I don't know. know. <laughs> I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> anyway this um. is a so Daniela mm -hmm. this is a crown of Rilafane Ralathil the god of nature and is bestowed to one of his chosen champions oh chosen oh uh. I feel like there's a requirement here. Oh god. So how would they um well the champion's obviously fallen. Mm. Um, do you think we should take it to bring it to like it. the general here or we should well, take it back to the queen? Do you tell us that it's the relevant relevant crown yes. thing? Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, I mean it's of nature. I mean, think any of you, any of us, are natural enough to utilize it? I'll try. Well, I'm not a nature person. Same. I've been in the desert long enough to know that sometimes you have to survive with what nature gives. I mean, I lived in the jungle pretty much, but eh, not that proficient. I feel like either of you. Good. All right, I'm gonna. Uh, my character will reach for the crown. <laughs> okay. Oh, what did I say about touching the crown? Well, it seems and harmless. Okay. Well, we thought the book was harmless too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So nothing happens Sounds when you pick it up. Ooh, I want to see it. I mean, go. Oh, I mean, you guys could try and hold it as well if you want. Wait. I'm just looking at Have it. Have you tried putting it on your head? No, no I want to do it. 
I'm oh, God, pretty, pretty princess. Oh, Melinda, or not Melinda, uh, Danielle is going to put the crown. You, you, you're going with this. Remember, yeah, we touched a book and all burned for it. I touched a sword, Spike blew up, and now it's stuck on me. Um, I'm going to be a pretty, pretty princess. I tried to grab the sword, and now I have a burnt hand. Ow. That's true. <laughs> Someone grab me one of those potions of healing. Okay, I'll take care of it later. Thank you. <clears throat> uh, I don't know. Does Spica give me the crown or is he hoarding it? For yeah, me? I hand it to her. And I hand it to Daniela. And uh, let her try to wear it. But keep a very wary eye on her. I put it on. You see How does it look? Holy crack. Backing away just in case. Yep. Look, isn't it I'm pretty? I'm a pretty princess now. Oh, this can only go poorly. Two <laughs> characters on the floor still just so slowly try. You all watch as Daniela sets the crown on her head. Yay! And it kind of molds to fit her head. Maybe I'll take it off. Oh god. I have a bad you feel you feel your vision sharpen. Oh. Hmm. And you feel like you're moving a little bit faster. It feels weird because you're because it's almost like you're you ever have those moments where like you have a lot of energy and you don't know where it came from? You're having mm -hmm. one of those moments. Oh, restless. Oh, it's like a stamina boost. Yeah. No, Danielle's on coke. <laughs> oh, that's the cool last relationship we could get. Before. <laughs> now, so the rest of you watch an experience. as she does this. the The crown goes from like that silver color mm -hmm. that it was to like a leafy green and brown, and a What's the what's the backdrop of a crown? Because the veil goes over the face. This goes over like the back of the head. Like, not the train. That's the uh, um, I know the crown's not a, like a back to them. Like there's a term for it. Yeah, like the way a helmet would have a back to it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So there are vines of thorns that are weaving themselves in and out of Daniela's hair. Okay, and she doesn't feel it at all? She does not feel it. Okay. Wow, I'm looking at my hand. Ooh. Ooh. So, what? Huh? You feel any different? Yeah. Wow. Okay, how so? Also, you've got some plants in your hair now. <clears throat> oh, do I? I'm moving I, really slowly because I'm I like... I you do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, where have you been? Oh, you look really bad. I can see that now. <clears throat> uh, he's recovering. No, no, no. He looks really this whole time. bad. <laughs> bet, does he look worse than Spiker? I, oh, Spiker. Wow. Ooh, those, uh, those wounds, I can really see them now. We're going to have to clean you up really good. You're, me. You're going to get infected. Oh, wow. Are those wood splinters? Oh, no, those Ooh. are paper cuts. Oh, wow. Yeah. Uh, hey, do you guys feel the room moving a bit faster now? I mean, are like... you okay? I know. I <laughs> well, I can see our office. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I just feel like I could see things more clearly. And Can't you take so off bright. the can't you take Hold. off the crown for a moment? <laughs> Hold on. I'm gonna I'll be back in just a few minutes. Uh and Eamon's gonna just leave the room for a second. Chapel, I'll I'll message you. Okay. Okay. Well, I guess it's not that secret. I'm leaving. I'm just gonna wander around until I find someone that I recognize and or actually no, first person that I see that looks of any importance. Okay. Hey, do you guys have any like wizards or anything around here? We have a couple. Why? Can they identify magical items and see what the hell they are? Sure. <laughs> Can they figure out curses? I'm starting to become concerned. Yeah, so are we. 
Could you like send one of them? Yeah, up, yeah, up, uh, yeah, up there. Uh, Perfect. Yeah, just the new idiots in town. Okay, I got you. Yeah, g I'll, gather I'll the new idiots in know. town. Like that'll probably help too. No, it's you oh, 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 are the new oh, idiots we. in town. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, we could use your help. Yeah, yeah. Uh, clearly. <laughs> Thank you. Much appreciated. My oh. character is, is just going to go and, st and reach for the ring. No, 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 no. Eamon's not in the room when this happens. This is, this is amazing. You just hear me <laughs> scream. What did I say about touching anything? So who's reaching for the ring? Spiker. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to slap your hand away with my sword. Don't. I grab the ring. No, anything. You don't. I'm going to take my tail and just wrap it around Sam, time the game. I'm like, what did I say? I'm on the floor. Regardless, I will freaking fight. I will hog tie you with my tail, sir. It's that flexible. Spike you want to try? Spike, you don't have the energy to even fight them at this point. Uh. <laughs> Stay on the ground like a good little half elf and let the adults figure it out. Pat, pat. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> she pats him with the burnt hand. Ow! Gonna get a, a nice little <laughs> hand wrap from my uh, sword to prevent him from getting the the ring. Thank you. Okay. No more touching any cursed objects. After yeah. about twenty minutes, there is a knock on the door. Answer. The door opens, and a tall elf with very long ears. And like a long blondish gray and graying hair with a long beard walks in. I was told that the local idiots were trying magical items. I thought I might come and identify some of these before anything oh. disastrous happened. Perfect. Well, we've got this chest worth of, of a chest of things. Um, and we're not entirely sure what all of it does. We know this book hurts people that touch it. Uh, oh, I got this sword that's kind of stuck to me now. It explodes people. Uh, there's a crown on our good friend Danielle over there. Uh, it kind of snaked its way into her hair, and I'm not sure if it went into her head or not. Um, there's also this big sword, this shiny suit of armor, and this little magic ring. Oh, also yeah. there's this mix. And this one points down to Spica. Try touching the ring. So could you, like, help us out? Wow. Please. They... Very much appreciated. Um, yes, sure. Why not? I mean, we won't, like, you don't have to do it for free. We'll give you a hundred gold. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's fine. It's fine. God damn it, why are... My neighbor's dogs constantly barking. I didn't hear them. No, if it means anything. But it is in good. It is going to be in the recording. Like yeah. I can see it popping up. No. Anyway, dogs. so he walks in and goes, "What shall I identify first? Ring. Yeah, yeah. Check out the ring." Hasn't hurt anyone yet. I was about to if I was going to reach it. He picks it up and he looks it over. Hmm. And you see him take a few moments to cast a spell. I see. Um... This is a ring of speedy protection. It makes you a little bit faster and protects you a little bit better than your average ring. Oh, interesting. I will put the stats in for that now. Sweet.
<clears throat> okay, so we've got a ring that protects you. What about this uh this this shiny suit of armor? ring will be most useful for those who can't wear heavier sets of armor. Right. No say. That's between me and Spica. Shrug. Now that the thing is, is like, can we take these off? Obviously, the sword cannot be taken off Eamon. Danielle, can you take off the crown? Sure. Does it come off? It does. Okay. Sigh of relief. I... I try to take the uh, the scabbard off of my hip. It comes off. I try to set it down. It sets down. Oh, see, that wasn't too bad. I took it off. <laughs> you, as you turn to say that, it is back on your hip. Uh, come again? <laughs> well, um, disregard that. Okay, apparently, I can't take it. Can't get rid of it. Thought I could. Uh, turns out, I, I don't know. Maybe it's cursed. Maybe it's not. Maybe it's a good thing. You know, maybe it's a it's a defensive mechanism. It has attachment issues. That's for sure. It, it does. The wizard finishes casting identify on the plate of, on the, uh, plate armor. This all pieces. Yeah, it's all one piece. Uh, this is the Paladin Armor of the Lawmakers. Um, this is an impressive set. I'm not sure how you came by this. Um, it, it's kind of a long story. It's more of a... I'll explain it. Uh, we acquired them in a trade. Yes. So is there anything you know about this armor set? Is it, is it you know, uh, does it have a, like a fancy name? Was it wielded by a great warrior that you know of? Um, we knew a warrior that wore this about 30 years ago. He and oh. his group went to go and attack Ashford. Oh, is he still alive? He May, never returned. Perchance? Okay, he's probably dead. He might have died in this armor. Or, you know, one like this. I'm running out the uh Oh the plate armor stats? Yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So this is mostly all paladin stuff. Uh, that's what it seems to be. It's a lot of paladin stuff. I mean, if only one of us is a paladin. Bloody helpful, wouldn't it? Yep. I mean, I feel like Anything we could sell some of this stuff. I don't know about the hook, though. Oh, right, I'm not, I'm not too sure about that. But Quadrant, I think, is the closest one to a paladin that we've got, right? He does some magic, <laughs> he hits things a lot. Yeah. He seems to be a good character. <laughs> My character Definitely is not a thief. So. Paladin, but even mm. then, Probably not a thief. Oh. He's, not, he's never stolen anything that we know of. Can you. Or successfully stolen anything. I appreciate that immensely, but no, I am not the type. No. What about you? Path. What about you, Spiker? Do you know of anyone you want to worship and pledge your, your life to so you can do, do cool things? Uh, or God? I'm fairly certain that uh, so, Spiker... Wait, let me get this straight. This armor piece is the same as the it is like the same kind of like paladin set, but different devotee to a 
devotion to a god. It's it. The reason it was called that, um, it's kind of. Are you are you asking me the DM or are you asking the wizard? Uh, the wizard. I might as well just like, just like lay there a bit, kind of growing up. So, you mind explaining? What kind of deity is, or patron deity is represented in this armor? Um, there are three deities here, more than Tyr and Ilmater. Eh. Tyr. My character just goes wide eyed and just goes tear. One of them is tear. Yes. Mm hmm. That's the one of the book. Oh. Again, as I said, equivalent to the Holy Grail, people will go to war over this. Wait, they would go to war over this? And I'm sure there has been. Um. Our character just easily just like, um. So. DM. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Would an, a 19 history tell me about any wars that may have been fought for this, or even just small campaigns to reclaim it or steal it or. The last time you heard about anything being fought over a piece of armor? No, the the book, the book. The, the oh, book. the book. Yes. Okay. So, um the book at one point was lost. Um and it was being held by a a cult that worshiped uh, I'm sorry, it was being held by members of the Cult of the Dragon, and they were working with um, some devils to keep it kind of locked away. Cult of the Dragon's like, time it? Yes. Okay. And they were keeping it locked Long away. story short, um, in addition to the group of mortals that went when they collided with the cult of the dragon and slew not one but two dragons trying to get a hold of that and it looked like they were not going to win a contingent of asimar and celestials came down to make sure that they got that book This is a Jeez. big trading card. So Amen knows none of that. It's just Quadrant, right? On your history check? Perfect. This 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 is from Quadrant's learnings. Teachings and other stuff. Um We should endeavor to return this to the followers of Tyr. And perhaps all of the other items associated with that god as well. I think it's all from the same individual. Probably. But Gleam is correct. There have been great battles fought over this tomb. And its power is far more than we've experienced here. Mm. In the right hands, I feel like this could be a game changer in the battles in this region. My question is, how did Cain get it? 
if someone could have utilized this tome against him, he should be Ash, not on a throne. Eamon just kind of looks quad or gives quad like a side look, like there's a person not part of our group, just kind of identifying a magical shit. Yeah, let's go talk about how we met with Cain. I do not care who you may or may not have met with. However, if this individual was <clears throat> at the Necromancer's Fortress, it's possible that the Necromancers had this piece of equipment. Not this cane individual. Oh, but actually, no, that is something he mentioned, that it was just kind of laying around in a box somewhere. He stole it from them. Probably. He's a bird do some quadrant. It's okay, it's ours now. They're going to want it back. Who? The necromancers. We didn't really put up much of a fight when we took it, or when we, we traded for it. They didn't know what was going on, more than likely. Kane is if you think about it, he had a lot more value than what we Well, traded. then they would have to take that up with Kane. One way or another, that vampire always finds a way to bone you. Yeah, perhaps. Not well, like that. <laughs> I heard you in the peanut gallery. <laughs> well, we got this magic stuff. The books seems important. Uh, what about this other long sword? This great sword looking thing. Ah, uh, um, give me a this moment. Th no worries. Can you just identify everything? Amy's just gonna like. Yeah. He's not gonna touch any of them, but he's I, gonna try to figure out a way to make spread them all out. I have to. I have to finish topping up, uh, Tears, uh, book of Paladin Law. Okay, so. Oh, dope. For those just watching, the Ring of Speedy Protection provides a plus two initiative bonus, a plus two to the ace to your AC, and plus ten feet of extra movement. Um. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, yeah. Plus two to everything. We, we we all know this. Yeah, you told us that. Okay. Um. I would have great use for that item. No. <laughs> no. 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 You're OP no. as it is. If anything spiker should wear it. Well, I haven't even gotten to the other stuff yet. Hang on. Yeah, there's still there's still multiple, <laughs> multiple things going on. You just see everyone looking like where they're right about to rumble for that ring. Uh, Y'all can take the ring. All right. So, uh, Paladin of the Lawmaker's Plate is a 16 AC no dex bonus, wisdom added to AC, immune to necrotic damage, must be lawful good or lawful neutral alignment to wear and requires attunement. That immune to necrotic <laughs> is pretty awesome. But you know who's neutral, lawful neutral, who could do that? No. A little sneaky boy. Do you know how hard it is to walk around <laughs> in full plate armor? No, this is the heaviest I've ever worn. It's chainmail. And it's just... Bloody so, heavy. let me rephrase. When it's properly built and designed, plate armor is actually fairly easy to move around in. It's also rather loud. I was gonna say, clank, clank. You're not a thief, though, so you don't really need to be that quiet, do you? Oh. And Eamon oh, just kind of, like, hits Why him on the shoulder. all of you assume... <laughs> Here, 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 here! I'm gonna hold this ground. Feel this! Feel this out of my hand to see if you're really a thief. Please don't try to steal this sword. The last two people <laughs> who did just kind of exploded. So, Quadrant, while he is being, um, messed with. Cha Chapel, what's your policy on taking ten? Um. Uh, 
I really don't like that because it, it kind okay. of takes away from like just rolling the dice. I know. I, that's perfectly fine. I just wanted to ask. Okay. Because it changes the uh, strategy a little bit. I had to look up the taking ten men. <laughs> Nobody knows. The trouble I've seen. I'm so curious what all is in that book. Because Chapel's been typing for a while. A lot. <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm so curious now. Oh, Man, I have I a question. I, I played a paladin. So I have a question. Do you think your echo could take the sword? And could take the sheath and then resheath it, and would it attach to him? You know, I don't. <laughs> Hold on, I've never actually given my echo anything. He's not really me. He's a shadow of me. So, like when I, know, I draw but my I'm sword, I'm just wondering. I don't think he can actually hold or interact with anything. Mm -hmm. um, Too bad. Chapel, uh, does does using a bonus action for anything that would normally take a full action to do? Um, make it faster or less noticeable? No. Um, so, so my rule on that is that mm. you can stuff you can use as a bonus action, I will allow you to use as a main action, but not vice versa. So what I'm what I'm what I'm talking about is I have a uh, class trait that lets me use a. Uh, bonus action to do something instead of using a full action. Okay. Like can cunning I, action dodge? Yes. Can I use my full action to distract someone while I do the bonus action? Yes. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> um, what would the distraction be? Is it a distraction? I don't check? know. The, the, you're going to have to tell me what kind of distraction you're wanting to make. Hey, I'm going to do the very, very classic uh, keeping Amon's attention on me on his left side while my right hand. Because he's. I've, I've just fed up with him making fun of me for not being a thief. <laughs> <laughs> um. So just keeping the conversation it. going on the left while mm -hmm. I pull. Do you have any jewelry? Um, hold on, let me check. Hey, I think I actually do have something. Let me let me hold on. Give me one second. Uh So uh, in his pocket, he does have a uh, this. It, it's 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 something he hasn't told anyone about. It's from his homeland. It's the one piece of his homeland that he has with him um, that he's maintained. It's a frozen flower petal that, through magical means, refuses to wilt. It's a single petal, and he always has it on him. Is it fragile? It's never broken, but. Maybe I don't know. We'll if, find out. If, if someone were to handle it like they would handle a coin, would it should be, be fine. Okay. Yeah, no, it'd be fine. So yes, so I'm going to I'm going to distract him. Okay. Well, that's a natural twenty. Nice. Yay! I hey. like it. Lucky. <laughs> um, would that give me advantage on my sleight of hand? Yes. Cool. Do I roll anything against the, any of this? 
Alright, then a perception check? Uh, Thank yeah, you would roll, you'd have to roll a perception check. Perception. Okay, uh, and I'm I'm disadvantaged. Uh, ooh. Nat, nat one. I'm disadvantaged, though, so I might also roll a nat one. Uh, be, because I'm still exhausted. Disadvantage perception. Oh, that was an accidental religion roll. Uh, 16. Okay, so ah, my, my nice. first of hand is, is nice. Oh jeez. So we're we're just talking about the stuff and then very casually in my left hand just be like Oh I found this a few minutes ago. Like is it important to you? Avon's like, okay, yep, uh -huh, it's the biggest thing. And you pull out, he's like his face first goes like not like doesn't register what he is like, oh that's a weird look at oh wait. And then like, there's a slow moment of realization. He like reaches down into his pocket. Or like into like one of the pouches that he had to like where and it has. My it. right my right hand is in my pocket as if it's never left. Hey, look. There is a very brief moment of fear and anger combined that flashes over Eamon's face. But it's quickly replaced with okay. Um, you are a thief. I, I stand time. corrected. I never said I was a thief. It was one time I Okay. Well, that was impressive. Not many thing. Not many people are able to slip, pull one over on me in that regard. It's rather difficult for most to catch me unaware. Wow, I, he is a thief. I, 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 I damn it! That. And I start checking my pockets for everything. <laughs> I still have everything. <sighs> yes, I only got that. Holy symbol, still there. If yeah. you stole my dagger, you can keep it. I ain't using it. I was going to give it to you at some point. I may have it back. It is important. You are correct. Gold coins and my cleavage. Yeah, still there. Okay, I got everything. <laughs> all right. I got it all. <laughs> You're just, what like, now? Quadrant just catches Daniela like, looking into her cleavage or stuff and you're like, I'm good, but I'm not going where West Guard's already been. No one was digging in your chest, ma'am. Relax. <laughs> of course not. That's why I keep my special items there. All my good coins. You mean your leftover stacks? <laughs> All my platinum. <laughs> platinum. <laughs> I don't have any platinum. All right. So, Tears Book of Paladin Law must be willed must be wielded by a lawful good character. When worn or held by a different alignment, chaotic characters take 2d6 radiant damage, neutral characters take 1d6 radiant damage, e and evil characters take 2d6 radiant damage. When, <clears throat> when worn, it doubles the number of channel divinities the character has and adds <laughs> two spell slots to all spells of the, of the the levels of spells the character knows. Dang. Wow. Yep, yep that I is can't touch that regardless. Ow. So powerful. Man, I should have went with a paladin this time. Now oh. then. The right. flame bridge of the abyssal devil. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Has Heck no yeah. attack bonuses. However, it does 2d6 slashing damage. 2d6 lightning damage, 2d6 cold damage, and 2d6 fire damage. All at once? All at once on hit. Dang! Wow. I That's thought my vampire sword was good. That explains how my character's still on the floor as everybody's Nope, that's not, that's not the one that I was wielding. That was that, the... This, this is the two-handed, like, great sword. Well, Okay, I wasn't sure if the that two, was the really thick two-handed long sword parentheses great sword flamberge. Extra thick. Extra okay. thick. 
Okay, I wasn't sure if you were wearing the longsword with the the hammer on it. Yeah, no, that's the one I'm wearing, but that's not the description of that one. Okay. I'm currently wearing the longsword with Moradin's hammer and Illmater's fist. Yeah, that was the one. Obviously, I can't touch the mace. Wow, that abyssal one is nuts. Ah, Aven, Aven thinks to himself, like, man, maybe dropping a little AC using that thing would be pretty dope. Let's see what this weird other sword is, though. Because huh. it did explode. It exploded, people. <laughs> God dang. All right. Love how the session is just figuring out what the hell we got last session. Yeah. And like, okay, what do we do with this? It's rather intense. So wait, does any does anyone use Big two-handed weapons? I don't know. Nope. No? Nope. I know Quadrant, you don't. You're no. fucking sneaky. Yeah, those little Probably tiny swords. Long sword. You can use those with one hand. Right. But I prefer rapiers and... Tiny swords? It make, makes this, sense. This particular blade, and I pat my... Sheath longsword or uh, rune blade. Isn't it still broken? No, the the other rapier I had is broken. I have a backup one. Oh, not nearly as good. I say you need another dagger. I ain't using this. I use my spells. How big is your dagger? Because it might not be big <laughs> enough for him. <laughs> <laughs> um, but it would be compact, so. Oh my gosh. I hate it here. <laughs> you, no, love you, it. you love it. You love it. I question my sanity sometimes with you. Uh, don't we all? What? That's just a question. Doesn't say how long it is <laughs> in D&D Beyond. I don't know, Quadrant, how long do you want it to be? <laughs> Are you actively taunting me again? <laughs> no. Maybe. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. If Quadra ain't gonna take it, I'm just gonna trade it or sell it. Same thing with this dart thing. Crown. I'm a pretty, pretty princess. Yes, you are. You're something, <laughs> all right. Oh, I'm also helping. Just... I'm helping Spike it with his uh, on the floor, bandaging him up. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm just on the floor still, just yeah, always laid out, just looking up. I sat down next to you because I'm really tired. Because <laughs> remember, we have exhaustion, so we're just sitting on the floor, and I'm bandaging you up. I'm just looking at my charp crisp of a hand. This is a lot of hard work, Spica. Don't be touching things anymore. Well, at least now we know the ring's somewhat safe. Right. It is. What do you Everything mean? else is a what? nope. Like, the ring's not gonna light you on fire or burn you with radiant holy energy. The ring is altogether evil. It must be destroyed. The crown either, right? <laughs> <laughs> do you have him check the crown? Not uh, yet. Not yet. The longsword wow, was... of the lawmakers is a plus two longsword. It attaches itself to the owner and will put itself into its sheath if it feels like it might be left behind. It deals 4d6 radiant damage to any creature that attempts to steal it and deals 4d, I'm sorry, 8d6 radiant damage to creatures of shadow, shade, or, or I'm sorry, uh, shadow, shade, and greater undead. Wow. Ow. Wait. Wait a minute. 
Spiker. What's wrong here? Uh, What's wrong? I know what Kane's up to. What? This thing should only deal significant damage to you if you, I don't know, are some type of undead or shadowy creature. He tried to steal it. He didn't. What do you mean? I he just touched the, touched, the, touched the blade when it was it, when it was equipped. Your, when I headed out. Your, I current, touched it when it was sheep. Yes. Your current owner, while you were holding it, he grabbed at it. The sword interpreted that as... I well. touched the blade too, might I add. Would that make sense to me, Chapel? Um, roll an intelligence check. Just straight intelligence? <laughs> Just straight intelligence. <laughs> uh, still disadvantaged. I've seen a great deal of anti-theft implements. Uh, oh, nine. Natural one. Yeah, no. Ooh. Yeah, that makes perfect huh. sense to you. Sense. Yeah, that makes, yeah. that makes sense. It's exhaustion is uh... killing me. Uh, I'm never gonna touch a shiny blade ever again. Uh, I, I give that a week before you try to touch something shiny again. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. Make sure I get this name right. Mm. Hmm. What characters is lowest on the floor? <laughs> Being bandaged up. Can we help you get up, Spiker? It doesn't look terribly comfortable down there. I don't know exactly how much stand up either. Uh, um, do you do you mind if I try something? Knock yourself out. Perfect. Uh, I'll take the sword inside of its inside of its sheath. Okay. And I will. This is a good idea or not? Uh, I will hand it to Spiker if you if you'll take it. Uh, can my character take it? Because <laughs> I, I don't feel know. probably not. He uh, reaches out to give it to you, and his fingers will not come off the pommel. Uh, still in the sheath, right? Yep. It's still in it. I I just can't, I can't let go of it. Nope. Okay. I'll reach for the scabbard, but with a very cautious hand. This is, this is, this is me trying to give it to you to see if I can give the sword away or if it's just kind of stuck here now. Uh, way to find out. Um, <laughs> as you reach out towards the scabbard, you start feeling a warm pulse building from the scabbard. Uh, never mind. I'm not touching that. All right. Um... Uh, Quadrant, yeah. He hands the sword out, just like he's trying to give it to someone. Curious if it'll work for you. It refuses. Your hand will not let go of the sword. Okay. Can't be taken. Can't be given away. Uh, I think this is just kind of here now. We could kill you. Stuck with it. I mean, yeah, you could kill me. It would be difficult, what? but you could. That's not. I mean, you, you, you have the... You guys have the... Ma or we have the magic to bring someone back from the dead, don't we? Do we? Do we? But in theory... Uh, 
Uh, Wait, so if if one of us dies during all of this, that we don't have a healer or anything that can bring us back? Mm-hmm. We have one that can bring us back to the brink, but I don't know of uh, revival. Uh, I don't do necromancy. It doesn't have to be necromancy, but what about, like, Danielle, you can save someone who's died, can't you? No. That's beyond me. <laughs> well, shit. That is, ma- that is something I would not do. Killing you was a joke. Oh. Yeah. I'm a life cleric. I believe in, like, saving lives, not bringing them back from the dead. I mean... I, I would be happy to turn sword. whatever on you and kill you, but you know, right. turn undead. Uh, on you. If only if that, if only that faith believed in bringing back the dead, so I wouldn't have to be afraid of the undead anymore. Uh, You're fine. Here, I blow on your rock and I give it back to you. It lights up. <laughs> Freezing. Focus on this. Freezing. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. It's okay. It's a really beautiful. What's your favorite color, Spica? Oh, my character's favorite color may as well just be like fucking. Pick purple. one. All right, it's purple. What's your favorite color? Nice and warm. You like it? Yeah. I'm just gonna, uh, my character is eventually just. He just like laid on face has a porn, just kind of just like looks at it. Shiny rocks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Squirrel. Okay. So, Crown of the Chosen of Rillafane Relathil gives plus one to AC and gives proficiency in perception and investigation. Ooh. Well, that's fancy. Ooh, I like that. I can see how the perception definitely with the eyes. Makes so now yeah. That's why your perception's going up. Uh and I'm sorry, it was how much it gives? Plus one. Yeah, plus one to eight. Perception. And perception? Uh, proficiency. Proficiency oh. in perception and investigation. So you add your proficiency bonus to it if you didn't already have it. Okay. And I think the only other thing that's not identified is the mace with the laughing mask. Mm-hmm. That's everything else is the healing potions, the gold. Yep. Right. Yeah, I mean we know what the healing potions do. They heal you. Gold is Golden. I'm one bus little cleric. Yeah. The great thing. Switch your village from the other beat. And if Eamon had a different alignment, he might wear that shiny armor. But as it stands, he cannot. Interesting. Well, I'm not going to lie. I think we did get the better end of this deal. I mean, none of these things he can really use at all. I think most of them are more powerful than the blood sword that I gave. He's arming his enemies to fight each other. Yes. I mean, we could use all of this, really, to uh, to attack the necromancers if we needed to. What happened? I don't know. I was trying to add the plus one to my armor and I did something wrong. (laughs) 
or to my AC. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what I did. <laughs> Can you fix it? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I will fix it. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. And I don't know how to add the proficiency. I can fix that. No, I'm kidding. For <laughs> me. One second, my dad's on. Okay. You're the bestest. My armor class went way up. I don't know what I did. That's it. You just put <laughs> another cleric. I just exploded my character and to tiny pieces. Yay. All right. Finally. Sorry about that. I had to top that up. We have the Mace of the Laughing Jester. Requires a neutral alignment to wield. When attacking an enemy that takes a turn after you in the initiative order, you have advantage. Does Ooh. 2d8 plus strength damage and then times 4 critical damage. Is that strictly neutral or like mine is chaotic neutral? Is it any like anything as long as you have a neutral in your alignment? Ooh. Ooh. That's what new toy. All right. Let us look at Daniela's stuff real fast. Okay, really not gonna be able to wield most of the stuff. Uh, Anything you can take the ring, depending on what your AC is. Let's say what's your AC at the moment. My AC is. Oh, what the hell! Sorry, everyone. My AC is me just a moment. Oh my god. <laughs> you good? I broke it. I'm sorry. I won't touch anything again. I promise. For, <laughs> for, what, for whatever reason, retarded ass, uh, fucking roll twenty decided to log me out. Oh dear. Uh, no. Oh no. I was gonna say def definitely spec. I could probably take the ring for protection. That's God bless it. That's not what I wanted. And of course now. Do we all need to log out? No. Okay. I don't know why every time that I log into it, it asks for my password. Mine's saved, so all I gotta do is just log in. <clears throat> I, mine is saved too, but it keeps it keeps asking me. I don't know if it updated or... It's, it's just being properly. stupid. For whatever reason, they haven't figured out the coding on how to properly get stuff to update. All right, so say Glane could trade in herself like a dagger, sling, dart, keep like crossbow with anything and quarter staff for now, and then just have a backup. Owie, owie, because I am chaotic neutral. I'm, I'm a little bit... so Glane's chaotic neutral, I'm chaotic fucking good, and Danielle is chaotic good. This is just. This all starts with like a fucking crazy enough as this. Oh, we're we're a crazy group, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm hmm. Uh, oh, was this even closely neutral or not? Because I, I tried to, yeah. I like is that where the chaotic to change side. It? Yeah, like the only thing I think I was actually on the good character is when I tried doing my cleric, uh, was a paladin, multi classing, and cleric. For the last campaign that didn't last too long. I'm gonna I'm gonna test this out. I think I built this correctly. Okay, that was to hit and then for damage. Wait, what? Cool. Damn, radius damage. Sheesh. What the oh, okay. There's that and then what is this? One D eight plus plus. There you go, Daniela. Thank you, Dia. You're the bestest. 
So Spiker doesn't touch anything shiny. Daniela's in real life person can't touch her character sheet. <laughs> anyway, I broke so it. I'm sorry. The pretty, pretty princess broke it. See, she got cocky with the crown. Now go in the corner and think about what you've done. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. So if that would have hit, if, if that attack hits, that does 31, 40, 3, 51 points of damage total. Sheesh. Assuming that you're hitting a greater undead or a creature of shade or shadow. Do I know what might entail like a creature of shade or shadow? Something from the shadow fell. A greater undead is anything a a CR3 or higher. Greater undead is CR3 or higher. Gotcha. You know, like a vampire. Yeah. Let's go find some vampires and try it out. (laughs) Technically speaking, a necromancer is not a greater undead. Unless they themselves are something like a lich. Yeah. Oh, so we're going to get we back tried on zombie. <laughs> you leave Frank out of this. <laughs> <laughs> Frank was giving me the eye yesterday. I don't know about that. Does that also count anything this like great potential in you, like fiends or devils, or is that just a separate thing? Nope. Fiends and uh, okay. uh, fiends are different. Right. Okay. So anything from the shadow fell like or undead. Correct. Ooh. Right. Awesome. Well, that works. <laughs> All right. Uh, but we've got a lot of equipment. Um, how shall we divvy it up? Divvy up what? Whatever's I have a left. crown. I know you've got oh. a crown. I I accidentally got myself stuck with this sword. We've got this magic ring, this plate armor. All right, Padre and Spica, I'm ref for it. This big ass sword. This fancy mace. No one can touch the book. So, really, we're set with the mace, the ring, the plates. Actually, armor. there's two. There's at least like three pieces, three separate pieces that just are influenced by a whole. And the great sword. Ladies. So, if anything easy enough, we all get sixty gold from the three hundred. Yep. Uh, everyone, everyone gets sixty. Gold. Roll me a perception check. Rolling perception. Yeah. All right. uh, great disadvantage still. Uh, perception. Natural one. <laughs> Quadrant is trying to steal things. Twelve. Uh. Ooh, <laughs> yay! Two Jeez. natural ones. So Daniela, you you are so happy with your crown, but you as as you guys are like going through picking out what you want, you see Quadrant very very sneakily just kind of. Swipe his hand over the ring and it is gone. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, that that is, the question is, do you tell anyone? I saw none of it. Um, but so this is what we've got. We've got these one, two, three, four, four things to kind of figure out who's going to take. Um, I was going to say, Spike, are you uh, proficient in maces? Uh, let's see. <sighs> Or is that type of uh, weaponry, if anything, I can let him have it? I mean, honestly, oh. if, if I could, I would give you this sword, Spica, and then I could take that bigger one so at least we can spread it out and everyone can get a upgrade. I'm more proficient I'm proficient in martial and simple weaponry. Is a mace either of those, Chapel? Because I do not think so. Uh, mace, mace would be one of them. I'll mace say- is a believe. I believe mace is a martial weapon. Because mm-hmm. a simple like, form of it is a, is a club. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're you're proficient with simple and martial weapons. You're pro- proficient with all weapons, pretty much. Almost. Yeah. So, yeah, so, you could you could use that mace if you wanted to, Spica. 
So or he could use the two handed right. Qu- big ass Quatrin sword. Is going to very carefully uh, have the ring on, but underneath his glove. <clears throat> okay, so you're going to try to put the ring on, um, and then slide your glove back on. Yes. So I probably wouldn't know so what my twelve perception. Okay. As anything like out of character, it's like if anything, Spiker could have the ring. I could take the mace, but I'll let him take it because I don't know what weaponry he has on him. As I said, if anything, I got my spells and I got my sword, the vampire sword, and the shield when the come times to ever use it. Mm-hmm. I'm still waiting for the day I get to use that. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Well, uh. Spica or Daniela, I think either of you could you probably use this mace. Oh, Quadrant, actually. I, I have a mace. Quadrant don't need no mace. None of them? All right. You're not even the ring. I could, I could probably use the mace. Wait. What? No, no, you don't have. You don't, couldn't even use the ring. Hmm. We should Man. give the ring to Spica. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Gonna like we know make, there's a ring here. We it, it, it's a thing it, we've we've known of. Quadrant, make a deception check. And okay. Amon, make an insight check with disadvantage. Oh yeah, all of us is disadvantage. Yeah. Fourteen. <laughs> wow, that's kinda high. Nice. Roll high. Seventeen. Roll, roll high. high. You will. You will. See, look. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you're not sure, but you believe him. He's not even interested in the ring. Even though you're not sure where the ring went, but it's around here somewhere. But you're you're more concerned with the rest of it. I was right. going to say with my 12, I didn't see him take the ring. No. Nope. All right. So Kane is basically equipping us to be undead slayers. Right, which is interesting. But we're I actually don't think he knows. For him, or we die trying. Either way, he's rid of a nuisance. Right. He gave he gave us gear that definitely. Ugh. I'm gonna look over yeah, at the he's... wizard man. We're making he's deals with right, devils. Right around my none of them are covered in brimstone. <laughs> That's right. Just great. I mean, the only deal we really made was to trade off oh, the weapon for this chest of stuff. It's a figure of speech, friend. Right. <clears throat> but I suppose it is better the devil you know than the devil you don't. Right. Oh, I have pers- for- oh, because my hunter says I have proficiency in perception checks. Oh, well. <clears throat> Would have been 15 anyways. Um. I must remember how to D&D. No, you, yeah, your role already had proficiency. It added your plus three. Oh, okay. Because it just shows. Oh yeah, there it is. Whoops. Wait, no, it didn't. Sh- it didn't add proficiency. Uh-uh. But yeah, yeah. No, it it would. Probably yeah, then the same as Danielle's. Yeah. Um. Anyway, um. Well, uh, what about this armor? Does anyone? Could anyone use it? Nope. Could I? Yes. Should I? No. I mean. But look at how awesome you would look in that armor. I'd rather be sneaky than being a ha- walking in a way noise beacon. I think it's fair. And with my so, reflexes, I need like corn. Take the plate armor, put it back in the chest. Um, We've got like so the bad. gold set up. Everyone, I guess, was it six, 60 gold, I think? Ye- yes, sir. Because yeah. uh- there's Five of us. Everyone takes 60 gold. I'm going to put that in my special place. We've got these two health potions. Uh, I don't know who we should give them to. Probably at least one to Daniela. He's no. kind of important. No? Mm-mm. I'm good. Okay. Ow. Ow. Um, I would say either you take one and and then Spike it and, and or Quadrant. I'll take one. Uh, Spiker, would you like the other one then? Are they? I would like one, but the problem is I do not like it stuck with one that hurts me. 
Are they Ta take the potion? Healing potion. All right. Later. <laughs> what kind of healing potion are we talking here? Oh. Does he identify them as healing potions, like safe to take? Yes. They're not going to turn you into a. We didn't. Frog. Yeah. yeah. It's which kind. Right. Um. But also, Spica, as Eamon hands you the one of the potions, the burns on his hands from when he had the book are gone. Uh, you healed yourself up? Oh, yeah, it's a, it's a fairly recent thing. Um, I've got some improved recovery aspects now. I'm not sure exactly how it works, but... It, it, I, f I feel like things are a little easier to recover from now. Uh, that's at least a good thing. All right. Well, everyone, we are going to end the session tonight here. Okay. And you Ooh. guys will be able to pick out what you want to do at the beginning of next session. Wonderful. Perfect. Thank you. Yay! Um, I'd like to take a long rest. Out of curiosity, Chapel, mm -hmm. since we do take breaks uh, every three sessions, and it's been a while since there's been a full break, are we on August 4th, or are we on August 18th for the next session? August 4th would be the next one, which would be our break. Yeah. Um... We're actually. I going... will actually be. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, I say I'll, I'll actually be out of town on the fourth. Yeah, so we'll we'll take a break for next uh, next session. So okay. the next session that we'll be on will be August eighteenth. Perfect. Thank you. Gotcha. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I'm so excited to see where we go next. Yes. Yes, I'm looking forward to seeing where you guys choose to go. <laughs> Uh, it's going to be fun. Well, which kind of story progression are we going to do? Because there's like, what? Seven? Six? Well, let's oh, look. Well, like okay. branching, branching stories that we're going to try and... There's a bunch collect. of branches stories. Yeah. Yeah. So many stories. Quadrant's an ass. He didn't want to give freaking Spike all that boost. He's like, fuck that, bitch. Sorry. <laughs> what? What? You could have gave Spike a he needed that ring. You're just like, ah, screw you. Fine. Do you know, <laughs> first off. Your AC don't need no more improvement. You're already a freaking tank. No, it needs improvement. Uh, I, I'm the tank. What's your I'm AC right now? What is your AC right now? Right, 19. I swore it was higher. No, it was mine, is, mine is 28. That's, that's the problem. His is that high, which means anything that hits him crushes us which is why Happy. i was i was That's debating why. on taking the 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 great sword but now i can't because this other one is stuck on me and i don't know i didn't think that was are you be a an thing. individual who 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 keeps himself down to one sword do you know how many different blades quadrant has well is now that... amon's got one that can never leave him so no 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 Abby, no, 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 no not never leave him comes back to him look at boomerang that's true what happens if i oh 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 no <laughs> yes. i don't actually think i don't think i can throw light it. bulb <laughs> i don't know if i can throw it yay See, i could have made my ac to 19 but i said i can do that later i'm happy that i at least have plus three ac hmm. and then one of the things is i think it's a I add something else to my AC when I'm not wielding a weapon. Oh, which is my most AC of the time might actually be twenty because I haven't, um, <laughs> I haven't gone through the level up process yet. Still. Oh my god! I know Boy... Chapel question. Yeah. Um, for multiple like weapons and equipment, um, could could I have like stow my my long sword and shield on my back and wield the great sword and vice versa? Is that um, something logistically I could do or not? That pattern of you 
still does make sense on a character from my standpoint. This is up to Chapel. But a long sword you can have strapped to your hip, and a great sword you can use a, a back scabbard. So you could. I just have to figure out where to put my shield. Uh, same deal. Uh, back strap. <laughs> mm. uh, in in fact, a lot of a lot steps. of pictures of warrior classes in various books and stuff. Again, completely chapels say so, but you do see them like just covered in weapons. And, and honestly, it's why, it's why a back sheath is good. If if the if the just or if the uh, the background for it is oh yeah you can do that but you can't have your crossbow like I'm okay with that yeah you can't have I've used it twice. crossbow I have a light crossbow I don't use it like I said that thing where I'm not I really don't either is going to be good but I have one. I don't do you yep. know what we do at range we die run and close the gap <laughs> <laughs> we run and close the gap and or cast fireball what what. <laughs> I don't Not need. Again. I really don't need a crossbow, but I have one just in case. I might. Um, but also, I might uh, uh, Jack, you were asking like, can you throw your sword? I was gonna say because I got my vampire sword. What is say. your strength? Oh, my my strength is twenty. Reasonably, I'm pretty sure you can throw the sword. No, I'm mechanically I can't let the sword go unless it's in its sheath. Ooh, ooh. Can we throw Amon? Let's oh do God. it. <laughs> We're just gonna yim go. That's the problem with the fastball special is the strongest character is the one doing the throwing. Um, <laughs> but if I'm, we combine all of us together, Amon, we can just. Or, I, think, I think Amon can can grip the sword by the scabbard and just kind of like, and it will come out of the scabbard. <laughs> <laughs> like, grab it tilt and twist it pretty much we'll say now spika has a new dangerous tool to put the smack oh, on God. people but That's getting, only getting thing back to just me actually having anything else dangerous from spika, to like quadrant yeah. can quadrant's character will get the most use out of that item you got enough yeah. stuff we need to make this uh little half up a little bit more tanky it's the quiet ones you have to watch out for. Oh yeah, like, I have my vampire one. sword and shield. All right, but yeah, no, you don't have to have. Yeah, I don't need an answer now. I just something to think about. Um, Chapel. Yeah. I have an eye. I have a mace now. Okay. The so the August Justice Mace 18th is our next session. Yes, yep. our next session will be August eighteenth at six p.m. Central Time, seven p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and we should get a full session out of that. We were a little late getting started today, and we're, I'm having to leave a little bit early. So we only had about four, uh, about a two-hour session today. Like, when normally we try to do a, a three-hour session at least. Yeah, right. That's but fine. We're, we're doing pretty good. Yep. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Any XP game, or would that be possibly next session? Be next um, session. there oh. is an XP game. Because oh, of what cool. happened last time. So you guys gained about 400 XP each. Okay. I know we're yeah. getting close to leveling up again. 404. We... Nice. Yeah, because I know the last time we played through, like, oh, wait, we do level up. And then it's like we're close to leveling up again to level yeah. 9. I forgot I how much for level 9. What's what's everyone's XP at? 404. 404. 404. Four, 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 so yeah, we're we're forty thousand four hundred. We're just under halfway. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, cool. to everyone that's watching, thank you so much for watching and joining us. Thank you. We thank love you, you. All right, you all have a wonderful day, and we will see you next time. Hooray! Mm -hmm. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. I love you guys. You guys are my best. <laughs> I love how, how Gleam did that while she was hammered, too.